right, everyone, here we go with little pieces of news. In California, grants powered wheelchair owners the right to repair, which is awesome. More and more states are getting to that point, so hopefully it'll come to a state near you. <laughs> so I'll post the link so you can read the entire article. It's exciting because um, we needed this. We really did. The next one, still a long way to go for wheelchair users. So this is a local wheelchair user decided to make her point at this year. Uh, I think this is in Ireland. So uh, they have a celebration uh, once a year that's called Make Way Day. Uh, so on the Friday, by staying away, <laughs> she had supported the event in previous years and despairing at not seeing progress on the streets of Mullinger, uh, you know, becoming more user-friendly for people in wheelchairs and on crutches. She sent word that she would no longer offer support. So um, I think it's important for us to make noise to our politicians so that they, you know, this is in Ireland. <laughs> Imagine, you know, in the United States. So uh, the important thing is for us to really um, make, make noise to our politicians, contact our politicians, uh, send letters to our politicians so that uh, we can uh, make our roads better, uh, more user-friendly, especially for us that we don't have legs, we just have our wheelchair and we need to get through. So. <laughs> So that's another piece of news that was in Ireland. So here we go to the next piece of news. Aha, I like this one. Uh, being in a wheelchair, being wheelchair bound doesn't stop this PG&E coworker. <laughs> so he's an engineer and he is the boss of the engineers, imagine that. So he has a, a tractor wheelchair here in the picture and he, uh, you know, he's, you know, moan about the amount of walking you've done. I tell you them, I tell them, I'm jealous, said Brad. <laughs> Brad was paralyzed from the chest down nearly a quarter century ago when his friend fell asleep while driving. When their car rolled over on its roof, the impact shattered some of Brad's vertebrae. So... So he doesn't, you know, stop. I oversee the design engineers who work on various gas transmission projects. My team designs hydrostatic tests to look for flaws in the pipelines. We handle pipe and valve replacements. We also support emergency operations with designs and repairs for events, such as a landslide that occurred in Novato, last year so there he is and there he goes so <laughs> he's he's on it all right the other one now this one blows my mind i left this one for last because there's a lot to say and to think about you know where you live in your country how this would be handled now this is not in uh, the united states either uh, this is, and I'll tell you where it is in a second, Newf Newfoundland. So this is in Newfoundland. There was a woman who had to have her uh, left leg amputated, and then she had a stroke, and she lost some mobility on the other side. So uh, she was taking care of her granddaughter. The hospital still released her, and send her right back to the apartment where she was, knowing full well that the apartment was full of stairs to get out. There's stairs going up to the main bathroom. Um, it's, it's awful. So um, I will leave. <laughs> it's crazy. Here in the United States, I want you to think about it for a moment. All those Americans, what would happen if you were in an apartment full of stairs what would the state do or what would, you know, the assistance a social worker do to help you? 
you know, here you are, you have amputations, you're just learning how to use a wheelchair. Um, what what would happen? Would, this, would the hospital release you? What would the uh, social worker recommend? You know, all those kind of things. And you can read the article to know what happened to her. Uh, this is not in the U.S. either, but in other countries in which they have accommodations, um, this is important to uh, read, to know what happened to her, what was her plight, and uh, what would you do, or what would the organizations do to help you? I think a lot of you are knowledgeable uh, on this topic. So it's, it, it's titled, St. John's Woman in a Wheelchair Trapped Inside Home with No Bathroom Access. So this is like the worst thing that can happen to someone. So I will certainly leave uh, the um, link to the video so you don't have to read the entire article. It is bad enough. So I'm just going to click here and go. Those are the pieces of news. Uh, feel free to share. Feel free to uh, make comments about these pieces of news. Uh, what uh, is uh, hopeful for you, and what would you do with this woman who uh, is stuck in her apartment and is not able to do one thing or the other? And you know, we can go at it and see what solutions would we give to this woman who is stuck in her apartment. That is it for pieces of news. I'm hoping all of you are doing well. As we know, there's another storm headed towards Florida, and the other states uh, are still not out of their disaster. Uh, so if you can send some relief to the Red Cross, that would be awesome in the next few days. Um, feel free to uh, do a like, subscribe, to uh, help our, will, our channel right here on our third anniversary, and to keep us going. Thank you, and see you in the next one.